So to start drawing, it's really important to um, teach children and ourselves how to see different shapes and different lines when looking at a more complex image or picture. So to get comfortable, to build confidence, and to practice uh, seeing these shapes and lines in more complex drawings, what we're going to do is practice building your confidence through an echo drawing exercise. So you're going to use your five basic elements of shape, just good practice to refer back to. And what I'm going to have you do is pick one of the echo drawing level exercises to do. So there's a level one, pretty simple, level two, a little more complex, and then level three, whoa, bananas. Uh, so these exercises are actually really similar to what you're going to create for your first uh, assignment for this course. You're going to be creating your very own echo drawing exercise. So it's really important to practice doing one yourself first. And when you do your practice echo drawing activity, you're going to practice seeing the different elements of shape and line so that you can break down a more complex image or picture into easy to understand parts and pieces. So I've already completed level one. Uh, you can see these were the original lines and shapes, and then I echoed, I repeated what I saw in the box above, I echoed it down below. There's a dot, I made a dot. There's a circle, made a circle. Straight line, straight line, curved line, curved line, angle line, angle line. Oh my gosh, two curved lines, what? I echoed that down there. So just gonna walk you through one or two of the level two exercises. Now. You can do this either in pencil or marker. You can have your students do them in either pencil or marker. I like to use marker just because if you give students a pencil with an eraser, they're gonna spend as much time drawing as they will erasing. So depending on how much time you have to offer your students, um, give them a pencil. If it helps them to be less anxious, um, give them a pencil. But when you use a marker for this activity, it really makes you slow down, think, look, and then draw. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for everybody, yourself included, to be more mindful and thoughtful about what you see and what you do. So we're gonna practice seeing lines and shapes and drawing them. So this is not super complex. But for a kindergartner, you're going to have to maybe break it down. Well, ask them, what do they see? Using the five elements of shape, I see two dots, and I see a straight line and another straight line. Well, you got to figure out what are you going to draw first. I like to use the uh, middle as a reference point because not only do you have to look and see what it is that is in the image or the picture, but you have to figure out where those parts and pieces are in relation to each other. So this straight line is right in the middle. So you can draw a straight line right in the middle. And then this straight line is also right through the middle going horizontally. Boom. And then your two dots, one there and one there. Now it's cool to go back and really pay attention to like, okay, where is this dot? Is it up in the corner? No, it's right next to the center of this square. Um, so that's something to pay attention to and to make your students pay attention to if you have them do these exercises. It's a really great way to warm up your brain and your eye and your hand connections so that you can uh, see Think about what you see and then draw. So go through and you can pick two of these exercises. You can do level one, uh, you can do level two, you can do level two and level three, you can do level one and level three. Totally up to you. Um, but yeah, that's it. Pick two, 
complete them, have fun. I'll see you in the next video.